Four people, of course, died yesterday, tragically, after a migrant boat capsized in the English Channel. It is being described as the worst tragedy in the Strait for over a year. It definitely is that. Let's go to our home and security editor, Mark White, for an update from Dover. Uh, good morning, uh, Mark. What is the latest now? I believe there's some audio has been uh, released of an emergency message that was sent from the boat. Well, we know that uh, the boat did indeed uh, call uh, up the rescue services at Coast Guard HQ to tell them about uh, the uh, unfolding tragedy that they were having to deal with and to call for rescue help uh, to arrive on scene about eight miles off the Kent coast. Uh, that did, uh, of course, happen with uh, both Border Force, uh, the lifeboats, uh, the Royal Navy, French counterparts all descending on the scene, but not before 31 of those who were on board uh, uh, managed to get on board a, lo a local scallop a uh, fishing boat which was in the area, luckily, uh, and was able to pull uh, the majority of those that were in the water onto that boat, or the consequences that we're talking about today could have been far worse. Uh, the rest were picked up by the rescue services, and we know, of course, uh, that four people lost their lives. We understand that at least another four people are still in the channel missing. No hope, of course, of finding them alive after being in the freezing waters of the English Channel uh, for so long. But that search operation is continuing. It's a low-key search operation because tide and current will have uh, pulled uh, anybody that was in that area well out of that initial uh, search area by now. Uh, the Marine Accident Investigation Branch has also said that it is now carrying out a preliminary investigation with a view uh, to gathering some initial evidence before perhaps launching uh, a full investigation uh, once the facts become known.